Hi, I'm Christina Troutwine. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Hotel Business, and I am here with Jay Stein, and he is the CEO of Dream Hotel Group. Welcome. Hi. Thanks okay. for having me. Glad to have you here, especially since I know you just announced some exciting new expansion plans in San Antonio, Memphis, Playa del Carmen, and I also think you had a soft brand launch as well. So let's we, talk about some of this. We did, we did. We've got a lot going on. Uh, we, we announced Memphis, I don't know, probably about six weeks ago or so, okay. which is really exciting. You know, we're in Nashville, so uh, to do a second hotel in Tennessee, and you know, who would have thought that we'd have two hotels in Tennessee at this point? And we're going to circle back to Nashville, <laughs> so. And uh, yeah, so to, uh, to, to try to stop moving into the middle of the country and bring our lifestyle brands there is uh, something we had talked about a number of years ago, so it's becoming reality now. Uh, Memphis, uh, for those that don't know the market, it is a great Americana, great history, one of the great um, business cities in the center of the country. Uh, but the downtown area really had lost a lot of flair over many years and it's just starting to come back. So I see us being a real catalyst of that downtown section and a lot of uh, young people that moved out to East uh, Memphis starting to move back into the mm -hmm. downtown area like you've seen in so many other great cities like Detroit and others. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, uh, we love being part of that and creating some of that new energy. So it's exciting. Well, so one of the great things about Memphis too is the whole culinary scene. So I know F&B is very important to your company. Why is that and how do you incorporate that into your properties? Yeah, you know, as, as I often say, the, the rooms part, quote unquote, is easy. But uh, though, though nothing's easy, but the food and beverage is, is really difficult. Um, for hotels to uh, uh, do food and beverage that's going to be meaningful to the community, we don't do it for our hotel guests. Uh, they're uh, truthfully secondary when we do this. We really want the community to be part of the fabric of our hotels. Um, and that's hard. You know, even great restaurateurs open restaurants that, that don't always make it. Whereas hotel companies and great hotel companies very rarely open a hotel that doesn't get its fair percentage of, uh, of rev par in a market. Um, so it, it's a very different game. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis. We're building up our corporate team on food and beverage, um, trying to do more of it ourselves. But we're always still open to work with other partners like we have for many years. So that's, uh, that's a very, very, very tough part of the business that we put a lot of emphasis in. Okay, my first question, I touched upon a soft brand launch, and I think it's going to be by Dream Hotel Group. Correct. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so we're uh, finally going to do, and I don't really look at it as a soft brand per se, more like a collection brand. Okay. So it's um, independent hotels that fit within our culture uh, of lifestyle and that don't really fit into uh, Dream or uh, Unscripted or Chatwell or Time Brands. Uh, and there are a number of them out there. There's a number of hotels that already have some strong branding or they may have, may have a name that's been in the marketplace for many years and uh, they're trying to become more of a, a progressive type of hotel and uh, that gives us the opportunity to bring those into uh, uh, our, our brands and uh, do the secret sauce that we do, uh, add in the, uh, the social elements and the food and beverage nightlife. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're excited about it and we've launched uh, Playa del Carmen, uh, yeah. Emma and Alyssa mm -hmm. in uh, Playa del Carmen. So, uh, and uh, we look to announce probably three or four more of those over the next couple of months. Oh, exciting. Okay. Um, you mentioned about Nashville before and that hotel has been open about a year now. Yeah. Right? How's uh, it going? I think the official opening, we did it with the chain smokers in March of last year. So um, a little less than a year that we officially opened. Uh, it's going great. You know, it's, it's a double-edged sword. We've had a couple of hotels in Dream Hollywood that opened a little over two, two years ago. They've ramped up very quickly. Yeah. Well, we fortunately timed them right in the market, which just sounds great, and, and it's great. And, you, and by the fourth, fifth month, you're almost at, you know, real... Uh, you know, a, a, a real positioning for the hotel. But unfortunately, that makes the second and third year increases, which you usually expect fairly high in the hotels. Uh, we're not always seeing that because we really get fully positioned very early. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the case in, in Hollywood uh, and in Nashville. But the, the hotel's doing great. It's uh, running one of the highest rep bars in the city and awesome. a very exciting hotel. Good. Uh, you mentioned before about adding someone to the F&B team. So, but I understand you've had other senior level uh, positions. Yeah, so we recently promoted Michael Lindenbaum, a, a long-term uh, player with us. Uh, he was uh, one of our senior vice presidents and now he's the chief operating officer. Okay. And Michael works very closely with me and 
works very closely with all of our owners that are for have properties that are not yet open and helps breathe in a lot of that excitement and activation and programming uh, and eventually the staffing and pre-opening so a uh, very integral part of our team we also promoted uh, two of our uh, uh, general managers over the years mm -hmm. to now vice presidents uh, cover Singh and Randy Taramina so uh, we're, uh, building up the team internally which is what we try to do and last question um what about growth in general? What do you see some industry trends? And I know, for instance, with you, you were talking before about opening hotels in the middle of the country in these great little areas, um, as opposed to always on the coastal locations. Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, that's always something that, that we felt made sense. So many uh, cities now, and, and even you see, I have a 26 year old daughter, and you know, they want to move to other places. It's not just New York, when we all know Austin and we all know Nashville, but there's other places. I mean, Cleveland is getting hot, Detroit is getting hot. Obviously, mentioned Memphis, we, we talked about. Uh, Charleston is, is an amazing market, um, and there's so many others. And they're underserved by uh, great lifestyle hotels, uh, and other brands are going in as well. I mean, Ace opened up in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. uh, brilliant. And so uh, I think it's exciting, and it opens up so many more markets for uh, for our type of hotels. So. Great, thank you so much for your time, Jay. Thanks, Christina.